this video I'm going to be upgrading these pivot pins. It's a similar process on all the aluminum blocks. All the aluminum blocks came with threaded in pivot pins. These are somewhat of a known failure and I'll show you when I pull these out compare them to the new Cobra Engineering pivot pins we got. I have not done this on an iron block. The iron block ones are pressed in there instead of screwed in there. If you can get the iron block ones out, it's probably a similar process. Here's the pivot pins from Cobra Engineering. Nicely machined. This is the kit. Comes with everything you need to uh, drill and tap the new holes. These you have to buy separately, the pins. They come in eight millimeter and nine millimeter, the actual part that it pivots on. So what's good about these pivot pins is one, the, the material is much stronger than the factory, uh, but the, the threaded part is actually eight millimeters. Uh, and you can get these in two different sizes. This is the nine millimeter uh, side where the pivot goes. Uh, they also come in eight millimeter. Equal in strength, I think it just depends on what uh, well, the thicker one's going to be stronger, but uh, some pivot pins have an 8 mil hole, some pivot pins have a 9 mil hole. So you want to find that out before you order uh, your pins. First, I'm going to remove the factory pivot pins. These are just bolted in there. Here you can see the difference between the thread size. This is an M6, this is an M8. I'm going to put the fixture on there. It goes on the dowels, locating dowels. It's got one screw to hold it in place. And I'm just going to snug this one up. There's two different ones of these guides and they're interchangeable. You just pull these screws out and you can switch them around. The smaller hole one is for the drill and the bigger one is for the tap. And that's to make sure that everything gets done straight. So the first thing you want to do is, I just got a small Allen key here, is you want to figure out how deep it is and then transfer that depth over to your drill so that you don't drill too far. So I'm going to stick this all the way in there, that deep. I'm going to wrap a piece of tape around my drill bit so I know when to stop it. So I'm going to spray some PB Blaster in there. Now I'm going to drill until it gets to the tape. Now we take this guide out. Switch it with the other one. I'm going to clean out this hole. Now I'm going to take the tap that comes in the kit. I'm going to use a T handle, but you can use whatever you have. If you got a, uh, if you got a wrench or something, you can use that and just work it in there. So I go back and forth with it, rock it back and forth. So there, bottomed out. You can do the transfer the depth thing, like I did with the tape, if you want to, or just be careful when you feel it bottom out. It gets harder to turn, real hard. So you don't want you don't want to force it. Now we can take it out. Now we got the smaller fitting over on this side. Okay, so we'll check the depth on this one. Transfer that to our drill. And double check it. PB blaster in there. And clean that out again. Now we gotta swap to the bigger one so we can tap it. And now with our tap we can make our way in there again. Now we take the fixture off. And take some brake cleaner. And... and put a little bit of blue Loctite on here. And I'm going to torque these to about 25, 30 foot pounds. So that's it. They're in there. 
I like to do this before it goes to the machine shop because obviously it gets uh, metal shavings everywhere. But uh, definitely worth the $50, $60, whatever the time of this video uh, for the cost of these pins.